Polytetrafluoroethylene is a synthetic fluoropolymer of tetrafluoroethylene that has numerous applications. The best known brand name of PTFE based formulas is Teflon by DuPont Company, who discovered the compound. PTFE is a fluorocarbon solid, as it is a high molecular weight compound consisting wholly of carbon and fluorine. PTFE is hydrophobic, neither water nor water containing substances wet PTFE, as fluorocarbons demonstrate mitigated London dispersion forces due to the high electronegativity of fluorine. PTFE has one of the lowest coefficients of friction against any solid. PTFE is used as a non-stick coating for pans and other cookware. It is very non-reactive, partly because of the strength of carbon eurofluorine bonds and so it is often used in containers and pipework for reactive and corrosive chemicals. Where used as a lubricant, PTFE reduces friction, wear and energy consumption of machinery. It is also commonly used as a graft material in surgical interventions. History PTFE was accidentally discovered in 1938 by Roy Plunkett while he was working in New Jersey for Kinetic Chemicals. As Plunkett attempted to make a new chlorofluorocarbon refrigerant, the tetrafluoroethylene gas in its pressure bottle stopped flowing before the bottle's weight had dropped to the point signaling empty. Since Plunkett was measuring the amount of gas used by weighing the bottle, he became curious as to the source of the weight, and finally resorted to sawing the bottle apart. He found the bottle's interior coated with a waxy white material that was oddly slippery. Analysis showed that it was polymerized perfluoroethylene, with the iron from the inside of the container having acted as a catalyst at high pressure. Kinetic Chemicals patented the new fluorinated plastic in 1941, and registered the Teflon trademark in 1945. By 1948, DuPont, which founded Kinetic Chemicals in partnership with General Motors, was producing over 2 million pounds of Teflon brand PTFE per year in Parkersburg, West Virginia. An early use was in the Manhattan Project as a material to coat valves and seals in the pipes holding highly reactive uranium hexafluoride at the vast K25 uranium enrichment plant in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. In 1954, the wife of French engineer Marc Gras copyright Goire urged him to try the material he had been using on fishing tackle on her cooking pans. He subsequently created the first Teflon-coated, non-stick pans under the brand named Full. In the United States, Marion A. Trotsolo, who had been using the substance on scientific utensils, marketed the first U.S.-made Teflon-coated pan, the Happy Pan, in 1961. However, Tful was not the only company to utilize PTFE in non-stick cookware coatings. In subsequent years, many cookware manufacturers developed proprietary PTFE-based formulas, including Swiss Diamond International which uses a diamond-reinforced PTFE formula, Scanpan which uses a titanium-reinforced PTFE formula, Cuisinart's Chef's Classic and Advantage non-stick collections and all clad and newer rubber maids Calfalin which use a non-reinforced PTFE-based non-stick. Other cookware companies, such as Mayer Corporations and Olon, use Teflon non-stick coatings purchased from DuPont. In the 1990s, it was found that PTFE could be radiation cross-linked above its melting point in an oxygen-free environment. Electron beam processing is one example of radiation processing. Cross-linked PTFE has improved high temperature mechanical properties and radiation stability. This was significant because, for many years, irradiation at ambient conditions had been used to break down PTFE for recycling. The radiation-induced chain sitioning allows it to be more easily reground and reused. Production PTFE is produced by free radical polymerization of tetrafluoroethylene. The net equation is, NF2C equals CF2 or 1 slash NA Euro F2 car Euro CF2 Na Euro, because tetrafluoroethylene can explosively decompose to tetrafluoromethane and carbon, special apparatus is required for the polymerization to prevent hot spots that might initiate this dangerous site reaction. The process is typically initiated with persulfate which homolyzes to generate sulfate radicals, O3SOOSO3, 2AAA2 SO4 a Euro unregistered trademark, the resulting polymer is terminated with sulfate ester groups, 
which can be hydrolyzed to give OH end groups. Because PTFE is poorly soluble in almost all solvents, the polymerization is conducted as an emulsion in water. This process gives a suspension of polymer particles. Alternatively, the polymerization is conducted using a surfactant such as PFOS. Properties PTFE is a thermoplastic polymer, which is a white solid at room temperature, with a density of about 2200 a kilogram per meter 3. According to DuPont, its melting point is 600 a K. It maintains high strength, toughness and self-lubrication at low temperatures down to 5 a K, and good flexibility at temperatures above 194 a K. PTFE gains its properties from the aggregate effect of carbon-fluorine bonds, as do all fluorocarbons. The only chemicals known to affect these carbon-fluorine bonds are certain alkali metals and most highly reactive fluorinating agents. The coefficient of friction of plastics is usually measured against polished steel. PTFE's coefficient of friction is 0.05 to 0.10, which is the third lowest of any known solid material. PTFE's resistance to van der Waals forces means that it is the only known surface to which a gecko cannot stick. In fact, PTFE can be used to prevent insects climbing up surfaces painted with the material. PTFE is so slippery that insects cannot get a grip and tend to fall off. For example, PTFE is used to prevent ants climbing out of formicaria. Because of its chemical inertness, PTFE cannot be cross-linked like an elastomer. Therefore, it has no memory, and is subject to creep. Because of his superior chemical and thermal properties, PTFE is often used as a gasket material. However, because of the propensity to creep, the long-term performance of such seals is worse than for elastomers which exhibit zero, or near zero, levels of creep. In critical applications, the level washers are often used to apply continuous force to PTFE gaskets, ensuring a minimal loss of performance over the lifetime of the gasket. Applications and uses The major application of PTFE, consuming about 50% of production, is for wiring in aerospace and computer applications. This application exploits the fact that PTFE has excellent dielectric properties. This is especially true at high radio frequencies, making it suitable for use as an insulator in cables and connector assemblies and as a material for printed circuit boards used at microwave frequencies. Combined with its high melting temperature, this makes it the material of choice as a high-performance substitute for the weaker and lower melting point polyethylene commonly used in low-cost applications. Another major application is in fuel and hydraulic lines, due to PTFE's low resistance against flowing liquids. Colder temperatures at high altitudes cause these fluids to flow more slowly. Coating the lines' interior surfaces with low-resistance PTFE helps to compensate by allowing the liquids to move more easily. In industrial applications, owing to its low friction, PTFE is used for applications where sliding action of parts is needed, plane bearings, gears, slide plates, etc. In these applications, it performs significantly better than nylon and astyl. It is comparable to ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene. Although UHMWPE is more resistant to wear than PTFE, for these applications, versions of PTFE with mineral oil or molybdenum disulfide embedded as additional lubricants in its matrix are being manufactured. Its extremely high bulk resistivity makes it an ideal material for fabricating long-life electrodes, useful devices that are the electrostatic analogues of magnets. Gore-Tex is a material incorporating a fluoro polymer membrane with micropores. The roof of the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome in Minneapolis, USA, is one of the largest applications of PTFE coatings. Twenty acres of the material was used in the creation of the white double-layered PTFE-coated fiberglass dome. Other, PTFE is best known for its use in coating non-stick frying pans and other cookware, as it is hydrophobic and possesses fairly high heat resistance. Niche PTFE is a versatile material that is found in many niche applications, it is used as a film interface patch for sports and medical applications, featuring a pressure-sensitive adhesive backing, which is installed in strategic high-friction areas of footwear, 
insoles, ankle foot orthosis, and other medical devices to prevent and relieve friction-induced blisters, calluses and foot ulceration. Powdered PTFE is used in pyrotechnic compositions as an oxidizer with powdered metals such as aluminium and magnesium. Upon ignition, these mixtures form carbonaceous soot and the corresponding metal fluoride, and release large amounts of heat. They are used in infrared decoy flares and as igniters for solid fuel rocket propellants. In optical radiometry, sheets of PTFE are used as measuring heads in spectroradiometers and broadband radiometers due to PTFE's capability to diffuse a transmitting light nearly perfectly. Moreover, optical properties of PTFE stay constant over a wide range of wavelengths, from UV down to near infrared. In this region, the relation of its regular transmittance to diffuse transmittance is negligibly small, so light transmitted through a diffuser radiates like Lambert's cosine law. Thus PTFE enables cosinusoidal angular response for a detector measuring the power of optical radiation at a surface, for example in solar irradiance measurements. Certain types of hardened, Armor-piercing bullets are coated with PTFE to reduce wear on firearms is rifling that harder projectiles would cause. PTFE itself does not give a projectile an armor-piercing property. Its high corrosion resistance makes PTFE useful in laboratory environments, where it is used for lining containers, as a coating for magnetic stirrers, and as tubing for highly corrosive chemicals such as hydrofluoric acid, which will dissolve glass containers. It is used in containers for storing fluoral and demonic acid, a superacid. PTFE tubes are used in gas gas heat exchangers in gas cleaning of waste incinerators. Unit power capacity is typically several megawatts. PTFE is also widely used as a thread seal tape in plumbing applications, largely replacing paste thread dope. PTFE membrane filters are among the most efficient industrial air filters. PTFE coated filters are often used in dust collection systems to collect particulate matter from air streams in applications involving high temperatures and high particulate loads such as coal fired power plants, cement production, and steel foundries. PTFE grafts can be used to bypass stenotic arteries in peripheral vascular disease if a suitable autologous vein graft is not available. Safety the pyrolysis of PTFE is detectable at 200 AA degree Celsius, and it evolves several fluorocarbon gases and a sublimate. An animal study conducted in 1955 concluded that it is unlikely that these products would be generated in amounts significant to health at temperatures below 250 AA degree Celsius. More recently, however, a study documented birds having been killed by these decomposition products at 202 AA degrees Celsius, with unconfirmed reports of bird deaths as a result of non-stick cookware heated to as little as 163 AA degrees Celsius. While PTFE is stable and non-toxic at lower temperatures, it begins to deteriorate after the temperature of cookware reaches about 260 AA degrees Celsius, and decomposes above 350 AA degrees Celsius. These degradation byproducts can be lethal to birds, and can cause flu-like symptoms in humans. In May, 2003, the Environmental Research and Advocacy Organization Environmental Working Group filed a 14-page brief with the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission petitioning for a rule requiring that cookware and heated appliances bearing non-stick coatings carry a label warning of hazards to people and to birds. Meat is usually fried between 204 and 232 AA degrees Celsius, and most oils start to smoke before a temperature of 260 AA degrees Celsius is reached, but there are at least two cooking oils that have a higher smoke point than 260 AA degrees Celsius. Empty cookware can also exceed this temperature when heated. PFOA Perfluorooctanoic acid is used as a surfactant in the emulsion polymerization of PTFE. Overall, PTFE cookware is considered an insignificant exposure pathway to PFOA. Similar polymers Other polymers with similar composition are also known by the Teflon trade name, perfluorococci, fluorinated ethylene propylene. These retain the useful PTFE properties of low friction and known reactivity, but are more easily formable. For example, 
FEP is softer than PTFE and melts at 533 K. It is also highly transparent and resistant to sunlight. See also, magnesium biton, polymer adsorption, polymer fume fever, BS4994 PTFE is a thermoplastic lining for dual laminate chemical process plant equipment, references. External links, EPA, compound in Teflon may cause cancer, 1, Tom Costello, NBC News, June 29, 2005. Plasma processes and adhesive bonding of polytetrafluoroethylene, PTFE tubing properties, further reading, Ellis, D.A. Mabry, S.A. Martin, J.W. Muir, D.C.G. Mabry, S.A. Martin, J.W. Muir, D.C.G. The molasses of fluoropolymers as a potential source of halogenated organic acids in the environment. Nature 412, 321 a euro 324 doi, 10.1038 slash 35085548. PMIDA 11460160A.